This is a car with cruise control, something that everyone uses but most people don't understand how it works. To design a cruise control system, we need integration, and there's actually a lot more involved than you might think. Before we can control anything, we need a basic system model of the car, so we look at all the forces acting upon it. We can then use the Laplace transform, which is an integral of this function. It uses integration to convert the system between time domain and frequency domain to successfully tune and simplify the analysis of the system. And this is what that system looks like. The controller and the car work together to manage the cruising speed. This information feeds back through the system to measure the error between the output and the input. But why do we need a controller? Say we have our car travelling down the road at 60 km per hour. We flick on cruise control set to 100 km per hour. A theoretical system would look like this, straight from 60 to 100, but without any controller, the system would not function at all. The parameters need to be tuned so that the system doesn't overshoot by accelerating past the set speed, and it doesn't take too long to settle. To achieve this, we use a proportional integral derivative controller within our system. Using complex mathematical procedures such as root locus and Bode, the system can be tuned to achieve the desired results. So for these values, the car accelerates to the desired speed, but far too quickly. Half a second is unrealistic for most cars. Whereas in this case, with some more conservative tuning, the car goes from 60 km per hour to 100 km per hour in 10 seconds, which is much more reasonable. Cruise control is just one example of the application of integration in engineering. This has been a Swinburne production. Thank you.